What time is it? It's science time! Glue is one of those polymers that we use all the time, and it's really handy to have around the house. Sometimes you're crafting and having fun, and other times you break something and you might need to repair it. But glue is constructed specifically to be flexible and move around. Just like those links we were looking at earlier, those glue molecules, those polymers, just can bend and flow over each other. But here's the thing. Glue by itself is not slime. It's glue. And in order for glue to become slime, we need an activator. This contact solution is going to take those molecules and link them together so that it's more firm and keeps it from just flowing, but gives us that slime texture that we're all familiar with. So let's make our recipe and let's have some fun making slime. Slime, slime, slime. And the cool thing about a recipe is when we use a recipe, we can replicate it over and over and over and over again. And that's what scientists do. They have a recipe or a formula to make something so that they can replicate it in the future. So for us to get started, we're gonna need eight ounces of glue. Oh, that's heavy. Pour that into a cup. Now we're going to also add a half a tablespoon of baking soda. Gonna stir that up. And if you want to add color to your slime, this is the step where you would want to do that. got blue fingers already. Mix that up nicely. And you can see it's just blue glue. Nothing fancy yet. And that's because we haven't added our activator. The piece that's going to link all of those polymers together to make slime. Now our recipe calls for one and a half tablespoons of contact solution. But I always like to start with less. So I'm just gonna start with one tablespoon of contact solution first. Pour that in. And now when you start stirring it, it instantly starts to glob up. Oh man, it's already turning into awesomeness. Now, if it's really sticky, mine's still pretty sticky. You can add a little bit of that contact solution in at a time. I'm actually gonna pull mine out first, maybe. Oh, this is where your hands get messy. It's actually, it's actually really a, a good consistency already. If it's feeling sticky, you're gonna add just a little bit more contact solution to it. Now we have about a half a tablespoon left, but I'm going to just take my contact solution and just put a few little dribbles on it. This contact solution is going to make those polymers, the glue molecules, stick together better. And soon, we'll have the perfect consistency. Look at that. That is awesome. Slime. Oh, I think you should try this recipe also. Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you wanna see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY Science Time.